Missouri lawmakers are talking campaign contributions and lobbyist gifts. And one Missouri state professor said he's doubtful any major changes are afoot. And there's certainly more momentum than in recent past. Matt Lupoli has more in this Across Missouri report. It has no limits on, on what lobbyists can give. This is really a bipartisan problem. Last year, Attorney General Chris Coster denied allegations made in a New York Times report about lobbyist gifts. This year, the legislature could investigate those claims as lawmakers face challenges over ethics themselves. Careful what you wish for. Governor Jay Nixon called for change in his state of the state, and state auditor Tom Schweik did the same in his gubernatorial campaign announcement last week week in Springfield. I think there's a, a real integrity crisis in Jefferson City. While lawmakers consider several possible limitations on lobbyist gifts, new data retrieved from the Missouri Ethics Commission by the group Progress Missouri shows an exhaustive list totaling up to more than $890,000 in gifts last year. A part-time legislature like Missouri needs lobbyists, needs people to present information to them. Dr. George Connor of Missouri State says not all lobbying is inherently bad and that the age-old issue of where to draw the line likely won't happen in one year. I use an example that I sent to my students this morning from the turn of the century. Representatives leave the legislature come back as lobbyists, and that's in, 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 your, in the late Other than the compensation allowed. Also important, House Speaker John Deal banned meetings outside the Capitol building after a committee's country club dinner caused public criticism last week. The suspect.